my next video is on microplastics. Oh, really? Yeah. I did a whole deep dive on that and like, we're all screwed. Mm -hmm. Like we are legit screwed. Um, everyone, like <clears throat> I read a couple studies where they took sample sizes or not sample, they, they took samples from people, Fe fecal sample, blood samples, urine samples, and everyone in these studies had some degree of microplastics in their body. Mm -hmm. And most yeah. of them are entering through not ingestion, but inhalation mm. and your lungs is the biggest, yeah. you know, reservoir for these plastics. Yep. And they just are going in and they're staying there. They're bio persistent. Your body cannot break it down. Right. And they're beginning to draw parallels with increases in uh, autoimmune diseases and, mm -hmm. and cancer. Absolutely. Because what these do is they're they're toxic they're they're toxic toxic to cells. They cause cells to produce or induce inflammation. And it's a very low grade level. It's not like you know you have like like a bruise or like you have cancer. It's it's very low grade, and it's very insidious over time. Because mm -hmm. the more plastics you ingest and inhale over the years, um, you have more and more in, inflammation. Mm -hmm. And they're beginning to wonder if the parallel between cancer and autoimmune diseases is with microplastics. Mm -hmm. And they're like thinking, yeah, it's probably the case. Well, it's definitely what she lays out in her book, how it is like very, very clear that it is cr creating a huge drop in male fertility. And that's why, you know, the birth rate around the world is plummeting. You know, people can't have kids like they used to. And Jeez. there's another crazy study that's a part of it where they she found a way to measure how much people were exposed to these phthalates <clears throat> and these microplastics. Uh, during the gestation period and uh, but before their these kids are born, mm -hmm. after they're born, they did a study where they measured what's called the AGD, which is basically the gooch. It's the distance between your asshole and your ball sack. Yeah. So the the shorter that distance is, the more you were exposed to these phthalates and these microplastics, and the more more of it that you have in your blood. Wow. And that it, 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 it's like. And that's directly correlated to your sperm count and your testosterone yeah. level. Yeah, it, it must interfere with some kind of like process of development. Yeah, you yeah. Know? Jeez, jeez, wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, every person has microplastics, mm -hmm. period. And one of the best ways you can avoid microplastics uh, uh, from the, uh, apart from the obvious, like drinking out of like bottled waters and like yeah. using them for all your food and all, all that stuff is uh, taking your shoes off outside, not bringing your shoes inside. Because your shoes, mm. when you're walking around in the street or anywhere out in the public and you bring them in your house, they bring in a ton of microplastics. Going to what you said, a lot of it comes through in, through inhalation. Yeah. So that's that's important. Make sure you leave your shoes outside, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what the largest contributor of microplastics are? You'll, I bet you'll never guess. The largest contributor. Um, it's it's not like an industry per se, but it's like a product, sort of. Not bottled water? No. I mean, what that's definitely one of them, but the highest is actually car tires. Oh, interesting. Of course. They're made of synthetic and natural rubbers. But if you think about it, a car tire is constantly being worn down, and the speed, the heat's releasing right. all the particles. And so they find that the highest concentration of microplastics that you in inhale are near roads. Because, again, you have the breakdown of, of the tire, and then the car is moving, and then the wind and the speed right. just kicks it all up. And so, I mean, we all we all have cars. Yeah, you that's know? crazy. Yeah. That's insane, man. Yep. And you want to stop that? You got to stop car tires. Jesus Christ. Good, technology, good luck with that. Technology is just killing us. It's a trade-off. Convenience. Yeah, that's convenience, yeah. Hmm. Jeez. Uh, Do you think there's any way <clears throat> that there, that we'll be able to reverse all this shit? No. I mean, you have microplastics bound up in your organs mm. right now, and they're right. they're there forever. And they're it's it's not like, you know, you can like remove plaque from like a clogged artery. You know, these right. are these are micrometers big, like right. smaller than the diameter of a human hair. They're there for good. Unless, I mean, this is pushing it, but unless they can somehow engineer bacteria that can break down plastic, 
which right. I mean, you'd be injecting bacteria into your body to break down plastic, and that just sounds mm. terrible, you know? Yeah. Um, so it's there for good. The only thing we can do is reduce the amount that's happening to us in future generations. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, you would think that we'd be able to, with AI, create some sort of antidote to some of this shit. I mean, with AI, like... Because, like, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's an industry... That's fueled by billions of dollars. So it's going to be like, you can't just fucking stop it. That's easier no, said you than can't. Way yeah. easier said than done. So like maybe you can put money into, that lightning's crazy. Yeah, it is. Maybe you can put some money into like a, some sort of economic push behind creating an antidote or some sort of cure to it somehow or some sort of experimental medicine. I know it's like, it sounds so far-fetched. Like how the fuck are you going to create something that's going to take microplastics, microplastics out of your blood and your, and your cells, right? Mm-hmm. I, I don't, I mean, I don't think we're, we're there yet. I don't think we ever will be. Mm -hmm. It's just the damage is so pervasive. Yeah. Every mm -hmm. organ just, I mean, oh, it's awful. Um, the best we can do is just curb towards more renewable products. Mm -hmm. I mean, plastic is so convenient. You can mold anything from it, the size, yeah. the durability. I mean, it's, it's really like perfect, mm -hmm. but with a trade-off. Huge trade off. Yeah. You now, so you might not get cancer now, but after mm -hmm. sixty years of living and inhaling plastics, right? The the damage will come. Yeah. You know.